If I am reading the VIN number correctly, that means this is a 2011 Grey Wolf here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a model 25RB, which is a perfect little couples camper. Big rear bathroom, lots of storage, no bunks, no slides, lightweight, easy towing. Um, easy towing, easy living. A lot of nice upgrades on this. This actually features, back in 2011, what was called the Cherokee Power Package. Um, you're going to see 30 pound propane bottles instead of 20s. Uh, power tongue jack instead of manual. whole bunch of upgrades like that scattered all over the place. Um, looking around on it, I see a couple places where um, you know some uh, caulking has been touched up. That's good. That means that these people were keeping an eye on their maintenance and they didn't let leaks happen. Um, anytime you have a uh, any sort of petroleum based product like a putty, when the sun gets to it, it dries it out. That's how your leaks happen more often than not. So it's really awesome that these folks were keeping an eye on it, keeping track of it, and keeping on top of it. Um, you can see the spare tire here has obviously never touched the ground. That's always a good thing. Hopefully, you never need that spare tire. But God forbid you do, at least you have one. Um, one thing I did spot is they must have added this aftermarket because this was not a standard item on Grey Wolf in 2011 are the max air covers over the vent fans. Those are sweet because you can leave your vents open even when it's kind of misty or rainy. Like even today it's just kind of a little bit muggy. It's really nice to leave that open and days like today you might get a little spritz of rain now and then. You don't have to worry about it going inside your camper. This is an outside TV center. You'll see a matching bracket like this on the inside. Your TV can just lift off, mount indoors, outdoors, whichever you want. And you have uh, your um, hookups right here. That's the word, hookups. Tough word. Um, <laughs> my wife will tell you I'm not good at thinking, talking, and walking all at the same time. Uh, a nice little thing that the previous owners added is this little countertop extension here. That is something that uh, was not standard on this model. But you can never get enough countertop space in anything, or cabinets, but it is nice to try. Um, compared to a lot of other things in its class, you might notice, uh, I think they still use the phrase super light on the nose of the Grey Wolf back in 2011. Um, it's, it's not a true lightweight unit, not by any stretch, but it is a lot lighter than most things in its class for a couple reasons. Um, it is a little bit shorter. It's a um, 78 inch height versus the 7 foot height um, that a Cherokee trailer featured back in 2011. Cherokee being Grey Wolf's big brother, by the way. Um, but you'll, you'll notice we've still got plywood construction. Our walls are on an average of 12 inch on centers. So this has an immense wall structure. Very well built trailers only have 16 inch um, centers uh, in their walls. So this has a lot of structure. Now this does feature things like central air that a lot of trailers in this class do not have. So it will keep you a little more comfortable in your uh, general camping summer months. There's that matching bracket for your flat screen TV that I mentioned. Now over here you see we have an, a sweet little hidden control for uh, the power awning, your water heater, all your tank monitor levels, and uh, you know your couple light switches here. This big black box has your um, Genesis stereo and DVD player. This was also one of the very first, you see the blue button that was Bluetooth enabled. You can sync your phone to this and uh, get indoor and uh, outdoor action on your phone. Just stream some music straight to it. Now what's cool is you have a three zone speaker system, A, B, and C. Uh, usually generally means like front, back, and outside. So you can, um, you know, kind of customize your audio experience based on whatever works best for you. Now, giant window overlooking the dinette, and my favorite part is when you're sitting here, you're looking right outside toward your campsite. So if uh, your grandpa and grandma and a grandkid comes over for the weekend, you can really keep an eye on them. Um, the dinette will fold down into a sleeper for the grandkid, as will the sofa that's right behind me. But a really cool thing is uh, you see this little box formation down here. That's the wheel well. It sticks up in the living room a little bit. So to compensate, they made the legs on this table slideable so you can still have the table uh, up near the window where you want it. Um, I mentioned big rear bathroom. Now notice that we have not only uh, a, a big skylight above the shower, which a lot of trailers in this class uh, don't give you, but you also have a big full-size Create a Breeze fan up here, just uh, able to really churn a ton of air in and out. Now you do have plenty of floor space in here. You do have uh, plenty of storage. More on that in a second, but giant, giant sink in here. Um, I mentioned storage. You see this entire thing is just a giant closet. 
and it's a perfect spot. Look at that, they beat me to it. A, uh, a little clothes hamper. It's the perfect spot for a clothes hamper. I always tell people that, and these folks must have <laughs> beat me to the punch. Spinning back around here. One of the things I do enjoy about the Gray Wolf version of this floor plan is that it has an open front wall here. It's not closed off and boxed off because when you can only see this much of your trailer, it feels a little small. So if you're going to spend, you know, a couple weeks at a time in here, that extra open and airiness is really going to help make it comfortable and breathable and really enhance your camping experience. This is obviously a uh, replaced mattress, but there's nothing wrong with that. It just means it's bigger and a little more plush than the standard one. And you see that you do still get um, wardrobe closets both on each side of the bed as well as storage above the bed. So many manufacturers in this class and this price point like to cut out those cabinets to save a few bucks and just leave you a shelf. So, you know, you've got a great structure here, easy towability, perfect floor plan for just a cup, camping couple zipping around. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of good to say about this floor plan. We've always been very successful with it. And this is the first one I can think of that people have traded back in. And it's a 2011 model, so this is four or five years later, you know. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.